Hey everybody, I am here with Andrew Scott Bell, the composer for Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I just got done watching the movie. I had so much fun. I was telling him all day I've been listening to the score for this film. I can't get enough of it. Thank you. Just congratulations. Thank you. And I cannot keep this conversation going without addressing what is between us right now. This is what we've been calling the Beehive Alin. Um, when I first signed on to score this movie, I remembered reading an article in the New York uh, in the New Yorker about an experimental violinist named Tyler Thackray. He goes by Violin Torture on Instagram. He'll be very glad that I said that. Um, and in that article, he mentioned that in passing that he put a violin inside of a beehive just to see what would happen. And so I emailed him and I said, "Hey, whatever happened to that violin that you put in a beehive?" And he said. Oh, I forgot about it. I think it's still in there. And at that point, it had been in there for two years. So my manager, Mike Rosen, and I drove up to San Francisco, and the, the shorter version of the rest of this is we pulled it out, found out that not only is there viol um, beehive and honeycomb on the outside, but in the inside of the violin as well. And it really makes a crazy, weird sound. We put the neck back on, and you want to get close and, and hear it, because it's very, 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 very quiet. And when you when you layer like five, you record like five of them and layer them on top of each other. It sounds like bees buzzing. It's so crazy. Just you playing that right now sent like a shiver yeah. down my spine. I, I mean, I, th I at first I thought it was just gonna be kind of a gimmick, like oh ha ha ha. Did you hear the composer playing a violin with honey on it or whatever? But then when we actually put the strings on it and I brought it up to as much tension as it can be, like it's it doesn't sound like a normal violin anymore. It sounds like. Spooky. It sounds different. Yeah. It's like a new instrument. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, it sends chills down your spine. It's crazy. Yeah. Two years in a beehive. That's longer than most of my relationships. I can't even imagine being in a beehive for that long. Oh, no. Uh, but we were talking before we started rolling right now about how we're going to be doing some physical media for yeah. this uh, score. I cannot wait. Can you talk about it a little bit? Sure. There's Right now the soundtrack is out and streaming. Mm -hmm. um, Apple Music, Spotify, but sometime in the spring we'll announce these dates uh, soon, but there will be a physical CD release, a deluxe edition release with bonus content with Howlin' Wolf Records. And then in the fall, in time for the fall record day, there will be um, a vinyl release with Rusted Wave. I cannot wait. I will be first in line to pick up the vinyl. I am so happy, first of all, that I got to meet you tonight. And just thank you so much for taking the time to show off how amazing this instrument is. And thank you for uh, it was so nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you for the, for the interview, for the chat. I loved it. I thank love you. Meeting you. Thank oh, you. love meeting you too. Yeah. <laughs> thank you.